What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will continue with the police AI. So in this episode we will begin to set up the first stage for the behavior tree. Now today is a very special day because not only it's my birthday, the 26th of February, but also today we have just reached 80,000 subscribers and 10 million views. That's absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so much for your incredible support. New plans are on the way. So, with all that said, it's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so you can see we have this AI folder that we built in the previous episode with our police, you know, um, blackboard data, behavior tree, um, actor itself, and so on. And right now, of course, it is pretty empty itself, right? We just have a mesh over here, and on the behavior tree, there are no states at all. We just have the root. So, what we need to do now is start to create the first states in its behavior tree. So, as you can see, the whole tree, you know, will work on a graph and we have these little nodes. So, how will this work? Well, behavior trees work from the top to bottom, so basically downwards, and from left to right. So, everything that is on the left will have more priority than what it is at the right. So let's begin. So as you can see, we have this root, which is kind of the imagine the starting point, and we can start to draw an arrow from here and select another node. In this case, we have three options. The first one that we will choose will simply be sequence. Okay, we're gonna make a very simple state right now, which will basically just be wandering around, and that means just picking a point in our level, walking and then you're stopping and picking again another point and this on a loop for this initial tutorial then of course as tutorials go we will expand this in the proper way okay but this really tutorial is also just meant to show you how to use behavior trees all right so in this case let's let the sequence and let's rename it here in the tools panel something to patrolling sequence okay great so now with that said what we are going to do is drag from here and we have all these other uh, nodes and for example we have this move to node that is available in unreal and what we can do is basically select a blackboard key which is the destination right um in this case we don't have any blackboard key kit, uh, created which is our you know the variables and if we had one we could create one with a transform pass over here and it will go to there but we're gonna make everything ourselves okay so even the move to node we're gonna do it ourselves but before of course setting a move to node even if we use this one or ourselves we of course need to get a transform to pass it as a blackboard key so let's create a new task let's go up here to new task go into our ai police folder right click create a new folder and let's name this something as tasks Open this up folder, go here and rename this, name this something as bt underscore task underscore, and in this case, we can put something as use patrol. So let's go ahead and use enter, and we have this new blueprint asset. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the functions, go to the override section, and we have this receive execute AI. This is basically the begin play of the uh, task. So as soon as it goes, there it will begin through this node so what we need to do is basically pick a random point so how are we going to do this well what we can do is just right click say get a reachable point in radius as you can see and this will basically return a random location that the nav mesh found now the nav mesh will be a component that we need to add to the level a bit later so our ai can walk so the origin will basically be where the AI is right now. So we get the controlled pawn, we can simply just get the actor location of that pawn, that it is the police, and there we go. Now the radius is how far away we'll be you know, able to pick a point. In this case, let's put something as 3000, so you know, it can walk pretty much uh, you know, long distances, kind of. Not so long, but you know, a normal thing. And then what we need to do with this random location is of course, go ahead and move to the destination now in this case we could you know save it on a variable and then on another task move to it but let's just do it all at once right just go here do an ai move to node which will be this one and with this we can simply just pass the random location to the destination and our ai will move and we'll do both on the same you know um task pick a location and move it 
and you know this is very simple so that's why we're doing it on a single task not splitting it because well literally it's two nodes to get the location so we don't need a whole other task for that so then the pawn will basically be the control pawn remember to plug that in that's what we are moving and then the acceptors radius we're gonna leave it at five because it's how close it will get to that point five is okay and then on success we will have this finish execute node okay which is the needed uh you know to let know the task when it has to finish let's mark it as success on here copy paste it and on fail it will be unticked with success and there we go now that will work you know and everything we just work fine right so as you can see now if we go back to the behavior tree and go to our sequence we can drag from here one of our tasks which in this case it will be the bt task patrol and now our guy will go pick a random point and just go to there but before we actually test that out we're gonna add another node right at the right and guess what it's gonna be a wait node which you know comes by default and we can set the duration to maybe two seconds so instead of finishing and immediately starting again and just picking a point we're gonna make our ai uh, policeman just go ahead and wait two seconds where it is an idle and then go ahead and you know patrol again and in this case we're putting this to the right because we want to execute it after as this will have a higher priority all right so with that said we are now good to go if we go to test just go and drag our policeman there's one thing left and it's the nav mesh because right now if we press play you will see that actually nothing will happen he will not move even though he has the behavior tree and everything working so we need to go up here into quickly add to the bread go to volumes and add this thing called the nav mesh bounce volume and basically this is a volume okay component that will scan the whole level and calculate all the possible paths that our ai can go so if we go here and lock this scale and put it to maybe 20 or even more maybe 50 and i press p in the viewport you can see that we have all these green highlights and it's basically going ahead and you know detecting all the possible paths if i were to use for example get a quick shape like a cube drag it here as you can see it basically outlined this as you know not green that means that the ai cannot go through this cube so as you can see it's basically calculating the paths and it is required and also it's what we use to get the random point so now if i press play boom surprise surprise he is moving he's basically picking a random point waiting two seconds and then boom again now he looks awful because there are no animations he's sliding and he's going super fast and turning very aggressively not smoothly like look Boom. <laughs> so let's you you know do those uh, quick changes over here. So those changes we need to do you know on the pawn itself. So as you can see, we have this the character movement component. So we're gonna go into the max walk speed and set it to maybe to around 350. So he will be basically walking. Then we're gonna go to the class default, search for yaw, and disable this. You may remember this from one of the first episodes, which is basically how the controller will turn. We don't want yaw because that will hard code the rotation to be very harsh, but instead, we want to go to the character movement component, go down, and enable the uh, orient rotation to movement. Actually not, use control inside rotation. Uh, they're very similar, but you know, <coughs> if the character goes backwards, he'll face backwards and in this case maybe we don't want that so i'm gonna leave it as use control decide rotation and this will add some smoothness okay so if I now press play you can see how that he goes in a more <coughs> you know reasonable um speed he doesn't move in the car and you know he's uh, turning smoothly there we go so i think he's going too fast actually <laughs> still so let's go to here and put it to maybe 250. there we go and then quickly gonna go ahead and set up um, his animations. So actually, if we go to blueprint, we probably have the civilian and that will work for now. Um, yes, so as you can see, that is indeed working for now. And then he's gonna head on walking, right? Uh, now his speed is a bit offset from the animation. So let's quickly check what speed we had on the civilians. So if we go, to the data file from our civilians which is under here and we have the mass entity we have the movement we have the max speed which is 150 so let's go ahead go back here and set the max speed to 150 and that way we don't have to adjust the animation blend space to accommodate that new speed and boom there we go so now we have the policeman going ahead and walking with his first state and you know 
everything just works. He will reach his destination, stop for two seconds, and start to move again. There we go, two seconds, and boom, again. And I think it's just controlled by the behavior tree. We can even go press F8 while play mode, and we can preview this, as you can see. So there we go. We have just made our first state for our police AI. Very basic, of course, just picking a random point and moving and waiting two seconds. But now you know how to create tasks inside of behavior trees and then integrate them with pawns. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it. You can like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of unreal and five videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember to have um, to check out the profiles of Patreon and YouTube members. Link in the description. Join my Discord server uh, to talk with me and other devs. Follow me on my socials. Now, yes, with all said, bye bye.